Well, hi everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I'm making body cream. Um, any noise that you hear, or anything like that, you know my house. My grandchildren are here, and they're in the living room, and the grandfather's here too. So, um, update: I'm going to the dentist. Hopefully, she won't cancel this Wednesday. So then I'll tell you when I come home because I can't film anything at the dentist. But anyway, I was good. So. In this part, I have a half a cup of almond oil and a half a cup of aloe vera, and I have some coconut cream. So I'm going to, and the other one, I have the other one melting. So I'm going to take that out. This is the, um, the shea butter. I'll bring it to you after I pour it in. I'm going to pour this in without burning myself, I hope. on a low heat. Real simple to make. And I'm gonna bring this over so you can see it. So. So, I'm talking on I'll be with you in a minute, okay? I'm doing a video right now. Okay, so that's boiling. It's on a low flame, and so I'll get there and stir in a minute. This is from this is the um, Essential Depot, and it's organic shea butter, and it's from the Greener Life Essentials Essential Essential Depot. Let me stick it on this right there. Real simple to make, and I run almost ran out of it. So because I'm finding out that. The, the shea butter that I, with the shea butter, oh, I forgot my vitamin E oil, I'll put that in in a minute. Um, the shea butter that I use along with the almond oil and the aloe vera oil and then the coconut oil actually makes my feet look really good. It does my body good, but really does my feet good. So then I have this much vitamin E, which is about... I guess about a, a tablespoon full left. And this is just Dwayne Reed's. I use any vitamin E. But then I'm going to put some essential oil in it when it's ready, when it cools down. It doesn't take long to do this. So the vitamin E oil goes in. Now, this is the thing to make it thicker. This is the certified organic beeswax pellet. pellet. And this is from, I got it on the wrong. This is from Mary Taylor, Mary Taylor Naturals. So I put in about a couple handfuls. I'm sitting here thinking. I am going to. I wash everything off, don't mind me. But you have to, you know what I mean? I put a 
little bit more how it works. And this is by Alfie. Oh, This is, this is aloe vera gel, actually. Okay, so let me show you what this is. This is aloe vera gel, and this is by Brooklyn Bounty. Bounty? Let's see aloe vera gel. And excuse the glare, but I don't know. The sun, everything. And this is um, sweet almond oil, and this is by Handcraft Blends. And this is for your hair, nails, and skin. This, I'm going to use peppermint oil, and this is by Organics, A-W-E Organics, and this is um, peppermint oil, right here, and this is the thyme oil, this is, this is it, and this is by, this is by Simply Earth, and this is thyme oil, so those are the two oils that I'll be using. Okay, so this is boiled down. I'll let it cool up just a little bit. Then, when it cools off just a little bit, then I'll add the oil into it. Then I'll pour it in the jar. So, that's really all it is. And I'll let it cool off. I'll pour the oil in. I'll let you see that. And then pouring it in the jar. Wait a little while. So. It should be good. Now this um, essential organic shea butter. It's the finest quality. Unrefined natural African. And it's from Greener Life. And um, also certified. And this is EssentialDepot.com. So it's EssentialDepot.com. I'll put these things in the description box and I will do that. I just washed my hair, so don't mind the, the hat. Um, but um, at any rate, let me see if I can. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I need to put a couple more. I think I'm going to put a couple more um, pellets in there of the beeswax. I don't know. Something tells me to put some more in there. So I'm going to do that while you're watching. Okay, so even though it's not real cool, I'm going to put the, the oil in anyway so you can see this. I'm going to actually, I think I'll bring it over here so you can see it. Move this over just for time. Spoons in here. So 
Well, let's put the oil in. So this is the peppermint oil first. This is the peppermint oil first, so I'm going to put in 10 drops, hopefully. Seven. I'm going to put 20. So that's 20 drops of peppermint oil. And then I'm also going to put in 20 drops of the thyme oil. The thyme oil is good, they're both good for fungus. Put in 20. So it smells more like I don't know like it smells more minty so it smells more like a, a, a medication so to speak but it's good for the feet I'm gonna put it back on the stove I still can See, I'm not used to the pellets. I'm used to the bars of the um, the D flat, so I'm still gonna put a couple of them. The funny thing is, okay, it still melts down because it's still that hot. But it will be what it will be. So that's how you make your body cream. Okay, and like I said, it's wonderful for your feet. So if you have cracked feet, like I did, okay, not, and they weren't cracked, cracked, but they were cracked and everything like that. Puts a lot more moisture and everything back into the feet. So I'm going to go now, okay, and I will probably put that up along with some other things later. I love you. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. And if you want me to do anything because I'm getting ready to go do a lot of things. Just write what you'd like me to see you make in, in the comment section, and I will do it for you. I love you. Take care. Again, stay safe. Bye-bye. God bless. See you in the next video.